Some of my vivid memories of being an artist as a young kid were uh, in middle school. I was kind of known for my art. People would watch me draw a lot. And I had a great art teacher named Mr. Murdoch. He would tell me that I was a good artist and that I could do stuff with my art. And I don't know, since then, I felt like that was kind of my goal, was to be a professional artist. I decided to come down to St. Pete in 2003. And what was great about St. Pete then is like there wasn't much going on. It was a place that we could come and kind of create what we wanted it to be. And there definitely was an art scene going on, so I kind of jumped into that and we started doing art exhibits and then eventually I got my first gallery on Central Avenue. And that's actually where I created the Mr. Sun mural that is kind of the basis of this bus project. And a lot of St. Pete has like that throwback history vintage. And I've always been drawn to that sort of thing. I had always seen the Mr. Sun character. I thought, hey, that would be a cool image to use as to promote St. Pete, to kind of do an updated version of him. So I reached out to the History Museum. I got some information on who actually created it. Found out that it was never copyrighted. So, you know, I was able to actually use the image. And I wanted to kind of create an updated version. So the Mr. Sun was created in the 1940s by Griffin Advertising. And specifically, it was created by uh, Jack Swenningson. And so he did all the photography for those old postcards and stuff that you see, those black and whites of the girls on the beach. And so he created Mr. Sun to help promote St. Pete at the time. And so it's been used on like TV back in the day and like I've seen it printed in newspapers. They used to put a uh, license plate on the front of the cars and they would always have Mr. Sun on the front license plate. I feel like I've kind of carried on the promotion of St. Petersburg in a way. You know, Jack's no longer with us, and I feel like I'm kind of the new person helping promote the city, and you know, and really that's what the Mr. Sun's about. It's about fun and positivity and like happiness and come to St. Pete, enjoy the, the weather, and so it's a cool character. PSTA contacted me and said, hey, we're interested in having an artist on you know, this bus line. And of course, Mr. Sun on the Sun Runner, I mean, made perfect sense. Well, it's a good, it's a good look. It's good for PSTA that they're, rep they're supporting the arts. They want to use somebody local. And just the fact that we are an art city, it makes sense. Why would you not have every bus have art on it? I think it's amazing to carry on the story of Mr. Sun 80 years later, to have it on the side of the bus. Well, there is a sense of pride and honored that I was selected to be the artist to you know, represent St. Pete this way. I mean, you can't help but smile seeing that big smile face on Mr. Sun. So I think if you were a tourist seeing that go by, you would be like, gosh, I wish I lived here. And I feel like that's what Mr. Sun originally was trying to provoke, was the sense of come to paradise. So hopefully that is the, the story that keeps going on and on and on.